Hey entrepreneur, this is Mark Newsom, Mr. Marketing. Welcome to this special presentation entitled Five Simple Sales Tips that you can implement just using your keyboard. And they're about as powerful as any sales force you could ever hire entrepreneur. Ladies and gentlemen, this video is going to focus on using the power of the pen or the keyboard. In any event, we're talking about good old copywriting and how these five proven power words can and will put more money in your pocket. Everybody knows words have power. It's time you put them to use for you. Ladies and gentlemen, these five simple power words will help you unlock sales, especially online. So let's have a look. Here's power word number one. Entrepreneur, everybody wants to know how to avoid a scam. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever noticed that sometimes online you will see these uh, marketers who will say they'll pick out a particular guru, or as I like to say for the ladies, guruette, and they'll say, is this particular person a scam? Clearly what they're trying to do is get attention and get you to click through and read the article. Be very careful about this approach, ladies and gentlemen. This is one particular strategy that I do not use and I do not advocate you use because there could be some legal issues, even though your article may go on or your blog post may go on to not even suggest that this person is a scam the fact that you're intimating that could lead to some problems now it's okay to talk generically about the industry something like that is consulting a scam but you don't want to use particular individuals just be a little cautious with that but here's power word number two Ladies and gentlemen, here's another really powerful strategy that you may want to implement. Have you ever noticed sometimes that when you're online, certain marketers use what's called the forbidden fruit marketing technique, and that is by suggesting or even advising that you don't do something, in this case, don't click here, and you know what happens. Just like the cat with curiosity, certain online visitors can't resist the fact that they're being told not to do something, and as a result, they'll do it. It's definitely worth testing. Here is power word number three. Ladies and gentlemen, your extremely valued customers or clients, they always want to know about any and all upcoming sales. And it doesn't matter if you tell them through text message, snail mail, direct mail, uh, email, it, uh, straight at your blog. You go in any mall right now, even though it's holiday time, even after the holidays, you'll always see somebody offering a sale. They work. So you want to use that power word. Here's power word number four. Ladies and gentlemen, wherever and whenever you can, offer the most honest, ironclad guarantee of some kind that you can. Don't offer something you know you can't stand by. But if you can use the word guarantee and stand by it, you're as good as gold and it will help unlock sales. And finally, power word number five. Entrepreneur, when all else blows out, you always want to resort to old faithful. Meaning let your clients and customers know what you're offering. That's free. Is it a free drawing? Something. Free opt-in. A free DVD. A free replayable webinar. Teleseminar. Something. Free consultation. And whenever you offer a free consultation, make sure you give it a perceived value. You know, this is an X dollar value because if you don't value it, nobody else will. But that is one of the power words. Free. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope in this short video you can see how just by implementing the right sales tips, you can do a lot more with the pen or the keyboard than you can sometimes do with a sales force. So on that note, for those of you who want to discover how you're going to add an additional 25% more gross profit to your bottom line, do so in the next 90 days or less without having to add any new customers or clients. As an entrepreneur, you definitely want that free nine page special report. Just head over to you can market online now dot com forward slash sales because that's where you get it. This is Mark News of Mr. Marketing. We'll see you again next time on the Marketing Minute.